Hi, this is Andrew Reverse with Impact Soundworks, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Riffage Hard Rock. Like our previous Riffage Metal Library, this features a wide range of real guitar phrases, riffs, and performances that are all loopable. Unlike Riffage Metal, the style we're going after here is basically classic hard rock. ACDC, Led Zeppelin, Guns N' Roses, bands like that. The sound was recorded both DI and stereo double track amped, so it is extremely ready to go out of the box. You don't have to do any processing at all. And just like Riffage Metal, you can play any of these phrases in any key. They were recorded at the root notes E, G, A sharp, and C sharp. So no matter what key you play in, there's very little pitch shifting happening. If you haven't used Riffage Metal, the way it works is pretty simple. In the lower range, which is the red highlighted keys or this part of the UI, you click on a key to assign a phrase. So for example, we'll tap on A1. This pops up the tag-based browser where you can browse all of the sound sources. Each one is a unique phrase. Now there are three different tempos available and it does lock to your host BPM. However, you wouldn't wanna play a 160 BPM riff at something like 70 BPM. So you wanna pick the tempo that's closest to the tempo of your song. For example, if we go to 120 BPM, we can now browse everything at this tempo. <laughs> Between what you've heard so far and the art that you're looking at right now, you should get a pretty good idea of the sound of this library and what it's all about. Anyway, the nice thing about the browser is that you can get into more detail. So for example, if you want riffs that have power chords, you would click on that, and now you're looking at all of the power chord riffs. And then as you heard, there are also swung and triplet riffs. So if you want to do just the triplet ones, you can look at those. Anyway, let's go to 160 BPM, load up a riff and see what we can do with it. By double clicking, we've loaded it up. Now, as you'll see, when I tap on a key in the low range, it selects the riff, which is gonna be triggered in this playable range. So now if I press F, for example, it's going to play this riff with the root note of F. And like I mentioned before, if we click lock to host, this is going to switch to our host BPM, which in my case is 150 BPM. Now, when Riffage Metal first came out, a problem that some people had was, how do you end a phrase? Let's say you're using Riffage Hard Rock to build out your guitar track, and you want to finish a phrase. How do you do that? Well, that's where the endings come in. Basically, when a phrase is playing, you tap any of the ending keys to immediately end it with a certain articulation. And if you hover over these, you'll see what the articulation is. For example, slow slides, fast slides, power chord slides. <laughs> But it's not just slides, there are also single notes. It really fits the style. gotta have the pinch squeal. The other neat thing is that if you're not playing a phrase and you hold down one of these endings, then you can play it like you would any pitched instrument. For example, if we hold down the chugs key here, now this upper blue playable range becomes chug keys. <laughs> 
And now you can actually build your own phrases out of these single notes as well. It's not as in-depth as our shredded instruments, of course, but it does give you plenty of flexibility. So if you want to write a specific riff or lick or phrase to fit in with all the pre-recorded ones, you can do that and have the exact same tone. Speaking of tone, let's check out the console page. You can see we have both DI and amped channels available. So if I play a phrase, we're gonna hear both of these layered. Let's hear just the amp track. It sounds great. And then for the DI, you can see that we're using two of our built-in console effects. We have the cat, which is a distortion pedal, and then we have a cabinet. So if we play back the DI, we're actually hearing it with those two effects. If we take those effects off, we're gonna hear just the pure DI signal. And from here, you could add your own amps either in console itself. For example, we could use the Van 51. We can move this up and then re-enable the cabinet and try switching the IR. Or you can use whatever external amp sim of your choice. For example, Shredded Jamp XTC works great. Also, if you want to, you can actually route these to separate contact outputs. You could have the DI going to one output in your DAW and then the amps could go to a different output. I'm gonna keep it on amped for now. Another nice feature of Riffage Hard Rock is that we listen to users and we included some very straightforward quarter and eighth note riffs. These are just steady quarter and eighth notes. So for example, if we load this up at 120 BPM. That's all it is. So this is a great foundation for your tracks. Now, if you want to modify these riffs further, you can do that using the volume, format, and fine tune, as well as the tone and gain sliders. And this is saved on a per phrase basis. So for example, if we play this back and then change the format down or up, If I switch to something else, that format change is not carried over. This way you can do per phrase tweaks. And that sums up Riffage Hard Rock in a nutshell. Now let's just check out some more riffs and licks so you get more of a sense of what comes with this library. There are hundreds of great sounding, really usable riffs written and recorded by the guitarist Patrick Windsor, which I think you're gonna love.
And these stops riffs were actually included based on user feedback, something that people requested with Riffage Metal were some phrases with more breathing room so it wasn't just constant playing. One final note is that just like with Riffage Metal, you get all of these phrases as WAV files as well. So if you want to load them in a different sampler or chop them up or manipulate them in some way, you can do that. Rivage Hard Rock is available now for Contact Player 6. It has full NKS support. And if you own any of our other libraries, be sure to check our website, like the personalized deals area, to see if you have a custom cross grade. This has been Andrew Versa, and I will see you next time.